Just before we get started with this video, I do want to mention that it's brought to you by me, or rather another channel that I do, called Business Blaze. It's about business, except it's not really. It kind of looks at epic social media fails, hilarious Amazon reviews, ridiculous conspiracy theories, and times that businesses went horribly, tragically wrong. Generally, just the weirdest stuff that I could find from the business world, like why the UK £50 note is basically for criminals, stuff like that. It's more laid back than this channel, throwing a good amount of silliness and fun at you along with some facts. You can check it out, there is a link in the description below. Now let's get on with the video. In the year 2018, there were over 660,000 restaurants in the United States alone. People love going out to eat. The problem is that there are only so many ways you can repackage the same kind of food. When you think about it, most restaurants fall into a handful of categories. You have burger joints, chicken restaurants, steakhouses, fine dining, Italian, Chinese, Mexican, and a few others. How do you make your specific restaurants stand out from the thousands of others? For some restaurants, that means coming up with a gimmick. And some of those gimmicks are definitely stranger than others. Number 10. Safe House Spy Restaurants If the perseverance of the James Bond franchise has taught us anything, it's that people really love the spy genre. But what exactly does that have to do with restaurants? Ask the owners of the Safe House Spy Restaurant, which has wrapped their dining experience entirely in the spy mystique. The restaurant has no public front, the entrance is hidden in an alley. If you can find the entrance, you're still not getting in by just opening the door, you have to give the password. Here's where things get especially weird. You either know the password because someone told you, or you don't know the password. Password. If you don't know, you can still get in, but you're going to have to prove your worth. Those who don't know the password have to perform a task which might be dancing, making animal noises, or some other harmless yet slightly humiliating act. Whatever they have you do, they're going to make you do it on camera so the entire rest of the restaurant gets to watch. As you can guess, this is all good fun and the restaurant has plenty of activities once you get inside to keep the kids busy. The decor is Cold War era espionage and even features trick walls and rotating booths if you want to amp up your 007 experience. If you're still a little cool on the spy theme, though, word is the food is pretty great as well, so you should still enjoy your trip even if you don't care for the gimmicks. Number 9. Instagram Restaurant These days, there's a bit of a backlash against the idea of Instagram influencers. These are the people who have tried to make their way in the world by exchanging goods and services for exposure. You've probably read stories about entitled Instagram influencers who've been kicked out of hotels after trying to get free rooms or extended stays in exchange for promoting the business on their social media. The idea that your Instagram is actually worth money to someone else didn't grow up in a vacuum, however. Back in 2004, there was actually a pop-up restaurant that lets you pay solely in Instagram pics. The company, Bird's Eye, known for making frozen food normally, created their pop-up restaurant in London. The menu didn't have prices that you had to pay in cash, you just had to share pictures on Instagram with the hashtag Bird's Eye Inspirations. In fairness, the food this restaurant was selling was also from their Frozen Food Inspirations line, and both dishes, fish and chicken, looked kind of like knockoff Hot Pockets. Still, free food in exchange for photographs can't be that bad of a deal. Number 8. Nazi Restaurants If you're going to compile a list of really bad ideas that you can think of for a restaurant gimmick, it's almost guaranteed that in your top 10 you're going to find Nazi Germany. Why would anyone in their right mind ever conceive of the idea of creating a Nazi-themed restaurant? Well, you can ask until the cows come home, but you'll have to accept the fact that someone literally did have this idea and they brought it to life in Indonesia. Known as Soldaten Cafe, the restaurant was actually in business for some years before it was finally closed in 2017. There was also a brief shutdown in 2013 when the owner was routinely getting death threats. The decor in the restaurant featured Nazi imagery including swastika flags and pictures of Adolf Hitler. The owners claimed that the cafe wasn't pro-Nazi, it was more historically Nazi, sharing information rather than promoting it. Even the plates you ate your dinner on featured a stamp of the Third Reich Eagle. <laughs> Why? Number 7. The Labor Inducer The Suburban is a restaurant in Excelsior, Minnesota. The restaurant describes itself as a craft sports bar and features the kind of fare that you would expect at any sports bar, including sliders, nachos, chicken wings, and a variety of sandwiches, salads, and pizzas. So none of that qualifies as a particularly unusual gimmick. However, they did gain some notoriety for one burger in particular. One of the burgers on the menu is known as the Labor Inducer. As the name suggests, it supposedly can induce labor in pregnant women. So well, how does that work? The owner was coming up with a new burger idea for a competition and offered one of his test burgers to the pregnant co-owner of the restaurant. She was nine days away from giving birth, but after eating the burger, she went into labor after seven hours. That was good enough for them, and they called the burger the labor inducer and added it to the menu. Since it made headlines, the owner said that several pregnant women a week were coming into the restaurant to eat the burger in an effort to give nature a helping hand. And amazingly, it seems to have worked as the second baby was born a few hours after the mother ate one. There's nothing particularly unusual on the burger. It's an Angus 
Angus beef patty with honey cured bacon, peach caramelized onions, spicy mustard on a pretzel bun. And as far as anyone knows, those are the only two babies it prompted into the world. Number six, Heart Attack Grill's cremated remains of dead customers. The Heart Attack Grill made headlines in the late 2000s for its hospital themed restaurants and the fact that they actively seemed to want to kill their customers. Food was loaded down with fat, cholesterol, and sugar, the kind of stuff that is considered fodder for causing a heart attack. And if you weigh over 350 pounds, you could eat at the restaurant for free. The place lived up to its name and reputation when one of the restaurant's spokesmen, 575 pound Blair River, actually died. A year later, the customer had a heart attack while eating one of the restaurant's triple bypass burgers. Other diners in the restaurant thought it was a joke and took pictures of the man as he fell to the floor. The year after that, another restaurant spokesman died from a heart attack in front of the restaurant. Despite all the morbid associations with the restaurant, the owners haven't scaled back anything. In fact, in the year 2020, the restaurant started displaying the cremated remains of their past guests who have died of heart attacks. Number 5. AI Server The way to stop at a restaurant can really make or break your dining experience. A good server can make you want to come back again and again. A bad server can make you avoid the restaurant forever. At one restaurant in Seoul, South Korea, the food is brought to customers not so much by a server as by a a robot named Adjlio Kim. The robot is a mobile trolley with a computer interface. It's perfect for social distancing during COVID-19 as it minimizes human contact. Customers are able to order their food from a touch screen at the table and the robot utilizes artificial intelligence to navigate the restaurant and get food to the right table. It can even deliver up to four tables at once. Number four, the drug lord restaurant. It's not often that a restaurant is based around a person, especially a person who doesn't technically have anything to do with the restaurant. But that didn't stop a pop-up restaurant in Australia from making their restaurant a Pablo Escobar themed one. If you don't recall, Pablo Escobar was an infamous Colombian drug lord and murderer. The restaurant's Pablo Escobar Burgers, very clever, featured an Escobar-themed burger that was served with a line of garlic powder meant to resemble a line of cocaine on top of the bun, along with a fake $100 bill rolled up next to it. Well, it certainly got a lot of attention, not all of it was good. Some people suggested the restaurant was glorifying drug use, and others thought it was in poor taste. Still, if they were looking to get attention, they managed to get it, as news outlets all over the world picked up on the story. As for the owner, he made a statement on the restaurant's Facebook page that they weren't trying to offend anyone and were just trying to have a laugh, not glorify the man or his crimes. Number three, social distance ghosts. Throughout the pandemic, depending on where you live, we've gone through cycles of restaurants being open, then closed, and then open again. Sometimes when they open, they have to adhere to unusual social distancing rules and can only seat a few guests at a time. One restaurant in Michigan came up with a novel solution for making social distancing easier to work with. Trattoria de Luigi in Royal Oak, Michigan came up with the idea to make sitting alone in a restaurant less lonely. The empty seats in the restaurant are filled with ghosts. Chairs that are not in use feature sheets draped over them with faces drawn on them in old-school Halloween costume style. Most restaurants have opted to simply remove tables to promote social distancing, producing large gaps in the dining room. The owners felt that doing so would make the restaurant feel wrong, so they simply filled the holes with ghosts instead. Customers responded favorably to the idea, but presumably the ghosts have to return to the grave once social distancing is no longer in effect. Number two, bra size discounts. When it comes to offering discounts to customers, you need to find a fair and reasonable way to provide them. That's why things like coupons were invented. If you start offering rewards to people based on something arbitrary like physical characteristics, you're opening the door for hurt feelings and allegations of discrimination and abuse. Despite how it seems like an obviously bad idea, the trendy shrimp restaurant in the city of Hangzhou, China, came up with the idea of offering discounts to female customers based on the size of their bra. According to a chart decked out with cartoon examples of different shaped women, those with an A cup bra would get a 5% discount, and if you got all the way up to a G cup, you got 65% off your meal. Although the restaurant removed the advertisement after complaints, management still defended the campaign as being good for business. Apparently, they saw a 20% rise in customers, and in case anyone was worried, customers could get their discount from female waitstaff rather than male waitstaff if they wanted. Number 1. Naked Restaurants Some restaurants Restaurants tend to be more formal than others and require that diners adhere to a specific dress code. They'll even provide male diners with a suit jacket if they come in without one and don't meet the dress code requirements. On the other side of the spectrum was the Bunyadi restaurant in London. In 2016, the pop-up restaurant appears with what you would argue is the opposite of a dress code. Diners could enjoy their meal without any clothes on whatsoever. You didn't have to be naked, there was a section of the restaurant where people could still wear clothes. But like the smoking versus non-smoking sections of old, this one had a dressed versus non-dressed section. Management claimed that the idea was to experience true liberation. Somehow eating naked in a room full of strangers would help you get closer to that. To further enhance this feeling, bamboo partitions and candlelight set the mood. No word on how good the food may have been. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do hit that thumbs up button below. Don't forget to check out my other channel, Business Blaze. And as always, thank you for watching.